Sometimes we find ourselves mired in the consequences of the mistakes that we've made, in the consequences of our sin, in the consequences of, let's be blunt about it, our own wickedness. And when you're that low, it can seem virtually impossible to work your way out of it. How can I possibly move on from this place, from all the things that I've done wrong? That's the question that rattles around in the hearts and the minds of so many people. And sadly, because they can't see a way out, many of those same people end up wallowing in their sin and their wickedness for way too long. Me? I knew that in my life, many of the things I was doing were wrong. I knew there was a God out there somewhere, and I knew that I needed to find him. My problem was that I also knew that I didn't measure up, that he was good and I wasn't, and that, no doubt, if I bumped into him, I'd be in some serious trouble. Just in case you find yourself in that place, I want to share with you the way out. Unless and until our slate is wiped clean, unless and until the sins of the past are atoned for and our conscience is clean, the reality is we simply cannot move on. So, here's the good news. Are you ready? That's exactly why Jesus died for you. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 3. For I handed on to you as of first importance what I in turn had received that Christ died for our sins in accordance with the scriptures. Plain and simple, if you put your trust in that one truth, if you put your trust completely in Jesus, your sins are wiped away. You're forgiven. God's wrath is removed from you. It's an act of God's grace, an act of God's mercy. Where once you were mired in your sin, now, you're completely free, completely forgiven. And it's at that point that you can make the decision that you've been longing to make, to start living your life the right way rather than the wrong way, to start living for good rather than for bad. Because after all, Romans chapter 2, verse 4, don't you realize that God's kindness is meant to lead you to repentance? <laughs> repentance seems like such an old-fashioned word, but it literally means to turn, in this case, to turn away from evil and to turn back to God. It's a decision that we want to make all along. We all want to live a good life, but the power to make that decision comes only when we trust in Jesus. So no matter what evil, what wickedness, what sin, the consequences of which you're living out right now, Jesus stands ready to forgive you, to set you free, and to give you a new life. That's God's word, fresh for you today.